as you can see I have done my brows because it's so much easier doing them beforehand so next up we're going on with a base for our eyeshadow I am using the elf hydrating camo concealer this is in the shade light beige um, if I'm doing pastel looks I will always use a white concealer from makeup revolution I never use an actual eyeshadow base because I find that makeup and like concealer and stuff literally does the same. I personally find concealer actually works better. I've not put enough on here. So I literally put it all over my lid. I've carved my brows up with the same concealer. I don't know why it looks darker. Um, Cause it isn't that dark in person. There we go. Um, this is a really good base. And I also find it really is helping blend my eyeshadow out. I normally use makeup revolution like a neutral one but obviously i've run out and i always try something different and i found this one works really well and it's like five pound which is a bargain so now we have sorted our base out it's all even it's all nice all ready to be colored in there you go and let's get on with the eyeshadow we are going in with my new love this bad boy i actually got this a while back but i literally am loving it lately this blends a dream for beginners as well I recommend this if you're like struggling with blending this is really good um i haven't used any of the nudes in here so look what happened when i bought it this turned up like this i am not okay um so the first color we're going to start with <clears throat> for some reason i always start with the lighter colors and then add the dark that works for me but i'm going to try with the darker ones because i've been doing that lately we're going to start with hall which is like this this brown here there you go i'm going to start with this one <clears throat> and we're going to try and blend it out Okay, so I'm starting with a small brush. This is the Morphe and Jeffree Star brush in JS12. So it's quite a small round one. This is stained, it's not actually got eyeshadow on it. I'm not that lazy to wash my brushes. So I've got a little bit. We're not gonna go in with eyeshadow how you normally would. So you're gonna start, I always find my inner corner is the best place to start. Don't worry if it looks messy at first, just pack on your eyeshadow. Whatever brown shade you wanna use, just pack it on. Don't worry too much, like it doesn't have to be like mad. As you're packing it on, you want to start curving it upwards towards your brow. So you want to curve it up like this. As you can see, I will add to this. This is literally just the start of it. So you want it to curve up like this. This is how I create sort of like the template for my cut crease. And I'm going to blend this a little bit. But don't worry because we're going to be adding many, many, many shades to it to make it look bougie as. But you just want to blend this a little bit. And then we're going to add some more colours. So bear with me while I blend this out. So get yourself a little brush, another blending one, just a little bit bigger than the one you have. This is from Superdrug. These are like a pound. Um, oh my god, I think they're down to 10p at the moment because they're rebranding. I don't know. They are actually really good blending brushes. I'm gonna go in with basic, which is the one above this, which is more of like a slightly lighter version of the shade. And I'm literally gonna start blending. As you can see, I did my other eye off camera. I'm just gonna blend it up again and blend it in with the shade we originally used. You want to start getting that fade and don't worry guys this is gonna look bougie when it's done it always looks so dodgy when you first start doing a cut crease or is it just me um imagine wearing this on a night out imagine because of lockdown you can obviously practice your cut creases imagine how bougie you're gonna look on a night out guys and girls like you whack up to the nightclub with like a cut crease not bad idea little tip this is what taught this was like taught to me by a makeup artist but basically if you're struggling with your cut creases and you're like sometimes find your eyeshadow is going to be dark in the wrong places get a white shadow and just blend it out to the top oh my god a massive chunk of that glitter has literally just come out rip i'm so sad i'm so glad i have that sort of shade in other palettes but get a white shadow and blend it out to the top and it gives you a nice lighter fade of the shade you're using I'm just doing this a little bit because I found I've gone a little bit too dark in places and I'm not about that. I don't want a really, really dark cut crease, but I also don't want it really pale today. Um, I am wearing this look to work later on, guys, just to let you know. So I've now blended them colours out. Don't worry yet. We're going to go back in with our little bit of a darker brush. We're going to grab our little brush again because this comes in handy. I think I have one smaller than this, which will be really helpful. Change of plan, humans. I'm going in with a smaller one of that. This is the Jeffree Star JS13. I'm going to go in with Lights Out, which is literally black. You don't have to step. I know black eyeshadow can be scary. I'm still slightly scared of it. I'm literally gently patting my brush in. I really don't need a lot at all. And you're just going to put a tiny bit on. I don't mind using black in this palette and blending it out because this black actually blends. Some don't, but don't worry if it looks patchy or messy. You'll see the difference when you obviously cut your crease. Um, 
yeah i literally just sort of like line it out where i want it and then i'll blend it out i always go back to my other brush just to keep the color and then blend it again and this seems to work well for me and it gives you more of a definition when you do go to cut your crease so so far you can see the colors building up which is absolutely fabulous we love that so far a little messy don't worry about that you've added your definition to your cut crease which makes such a difference with a little bit of black or dark brown eyeshadow when you cut your crease right get yourself some baby wipes this is an essential tip that i found has saved me go and grab yourself a pack of baby wipes i'm gonna grab mine and i'm gonna show you our next trick got me a wipe this might be harder if you're wearing false nails but don't worry you can still do it i wear false nails and i can still conquer the world so it's fine what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from your inner your outer corner sorry and you're gonna sort of like get rid of that concealer you put on in the first place and you're probably thinking what's the point in that it just stops you getting loads of like oh, you don't need that much concealer on your eyelids at once like it's not needed so if you clear it it also gives you a cleaner cut when you go to your cut crease which can get rid of that big concealer from where i did my brows um it yeah it just basically gives you a cleaner cut when you do your cut crease i find this is easier as a guide as well and it does make a big difference when you actually um put your concealer back on which sounds really weird but it does work and it's worked for me so it look, should look something a little bit like this so it's not too bad don't worry if you accidentally rubbed away a little bit of your eyeshadow you can go over that however the way you want i've added a little bit more darker on mine like black because i feel like i rubbed a little bit too much off for your cut crease you're going to need a flat brush like this this is from new look this is actually a really good brush <clears throat> my throat's going I have a little corona. So we're going back in with our concealer. Obviously, I'm going back in with my hydrating camo concealer. And I'm roughly putting it on. And another trick, if you have hooded lids as well, this is perfect for it. You want to blink upwards. And don't worry, the whole point is to catch your lid with it instead of, obviously, cutting your crease by hand. It gives you sort of a guide, especially with hooded lids. And you're going to gently create the shape you want. So as you can see with mine, I always take my time with this because... If not, it goes very wrong. And remember, practice is everything. I've been doing this on and off for years, so I'm kind of like used to cutting creases. Um, I still want to get better at it, and I still want to practice when I can. So, you know, nobody's perfect. And you're just going to start on the outside and go in. Sort of follow that little guide you made when you took your makeup off with your white. Obviously, once you've done that, you can conjoin them together and just start patting out the like leftover sort of concealer i always blend it out down here just to make sure don't worry too much if the line isn't perfectly neat at first you get used to that it kind of gets easier as you obviously practice so here's my first crease cut i'm going to do the other one off camera so i don't waste your time my honeys so here's the first one done i'm actually really pleased with how that came out i was quite scared but i really like these brown tones they're bringing out my green eyes so we rate that here is the look so far. I've cut both my creases. I've patted down the like leftover concealer. You're gonna wanna grab your eyeshadow again and you're gonna wanna grab a nude color. So I'm gonna see if there's a nude one in this. If not, I'm gonna grab another one because we don't want glitter just yet. Or you could do colored if you want colored eyeshadow. There's not a nude one in this, but there is in my revolution one. So I'm gonna go with literally this neutral shade right here. I use this a lot for just a base when I wear eyeliner every day. As you guys know, if you have me on TikTok or anything, or know me in person, you know I just love me a bit of eyeliner every day. So, I'm literally using my finger for this because I'm a basic bitch and can't be controlled. I'm joking. But it just pats down and like sort of sets the concealer in place. You could use powder for this probably. It doesn't matter as long as you use like a neutral shade unless you want to do colours. That's down to you. I just... I kind of want to use a neutral one today so I'm just patting it into place and it stops it being sticky which is a good like that's why it makes a good base because eyeshadow sticks so there we go I've patted down my concealer happy child and you're going to want to go and grab a like gold glitter liner if you have one or silver whatever you want to use i'm gonna go and grab a gold one so bear with me i don't know how many times i've raved about poundland's gold glitter on here but beyond me how many times i actually need to get a new one what you're gonna do is follow where you cut your crease so literally follow from here your inner corner with your glitter all the way around yeah i definitely need a new one this is like low-key drying out <clears throat> so i'm just gonna slowly follow it around take your time don't worry 
because uh, perfection takes time, obviously. Um, I love this glitter, it lasts so well. Save your pennies, girls, like, and guys, go and grab yourself Poundland's glitter liner. I've had that eyeliner, it's really good. So far, this is how it's looking. We be doing good. Um, my skin looks super pale. <laughs> So, oh, oh my god, I've gone and done my glitter liner. It looks so much better now. I'm going to quickly prime my face and pop my foundation on before we go on to anything else because this is how I do my makeup. If you want to do this all afterwards, then you can or have your makeup on before, that's down to you. But this is the way I do it. So I'm going to quickly go and pop my foundation on and cover up these, like, patches and, yeah. Voila, so I've put my face on. I use the L'Oreal Infallible in 140 because I do have fake tan on at the moment. I don't use concealer because it's a bit long and I'm not a fan of it. And just the MUA Pro Base in 120. As you can see, I'm actually hitting pan on another one. This is always good. And for the next step, we're going in with winged eyeliner. So this literally completes your look. You don't understand. I'm just using my Savers eyeliner, which is literally 99p. Go grab yourself one. The brush is so fine. If you want a liner tutorial, how I do it, let me know in the comments. I will do an eyeliner tutorial. So I'm literally going to pop my eyeliner on as normal. Liner is done, see? It completes your look. So I'm going to grab a mascara. We are going to have lashes. Don't worry, guys. She not going without her lashes. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational today. I love this mascara and the new Sky High. If you haven't tried it, go and buy yourself one. I'm not even joking. It is a game changer. So I've put my mascara on. To be fair, my lashes do look really long, but I'm still going to put uh, fake ones on because... I just feel more comfortable. So I'm going to pop my fake lashes on and I'll be back to show you guys the results. And we got to do our like highlighter still and that's essential. We're back. We got my lashes on. These are the GWA Fantasy Lashes in Princess. These are my favourite because they're kind of not too big and not too small. I'm just going to do my mascara on my bottom lashes and let's get it over and done with. My bottom lashes are done. I'm going in with the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter in Ice. And I'm using this middle one here because it's like a whitey gold. And it just complements my skin really well compared to using two gold or two yellow. I find this one just works for me personally. And I'm obsessed with it. I've actually hit pan on it, I've just realised. So I like to pop it on my cheeks, my nose. And then I switch over my brush for a smaller fluffy one for my inner corner. Because I can't go out without highlighter on. It just makes me feel a bit weird. And then I'm going to do my brow bone as well, just give it a little bit of a glow, because it kind of needs it. And we're going to quickly do my lips to complete this look. Before my lips, I've put the e.l.f. plumper on, there's like a plumping and primer one they do. It tastes like cinnamon, which is even better. Just give them a plump, because ripped on my lip fillers, they're kind of dissolving. And we're using the Barry M Lip Liner in Toast. And for our last product, this is a new one. This is the Maybelline Filler uh, Lifter Gloss in, um, it's meant to be give you like a filler effect in ice. I love the smell of this, oh my God. And it's not too much either, like literally it's so not natural, but it's not too much gloss. I literally love this. Let me go brush my hair out so you guys can see the final look. So I'm actually about to head to work, pop my uniform on, but this is my final look. I literally love this look. I hope you guys nail your cut creases because they make you feel like a badass bitch and I rate that and they literally, once you can do them once, you can do them with any colour combinations. It is so, such a good skill to have. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!